Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to go over how to set up a basic rotation scenario in GeoGebra. So I can set up an arbitrary triangle. Let's click three points, A, B, and C. Close the triangle. Maybe move letters around if you really want to see where everything is. And now you're basically ready to rotate your shape. I'm going to set O as our origin, so O equals zero, zero. We're going to rotate around that origin and I want to create a slider up here so I click my slider tool I want the slider to go over here that's where I'll click in this case I want the slider to represent an angle so I click angle and it automatically gives me the first logical letter for angle so it's all set up then I'll have my increments be 90 degrees and now I have a slider which I can change but of course this won't do anything because Right, nothing here is represented by this angle. So what do I do? Well, I can tell GeoGebra to rotate this shape around this point by this angle. Here's how I can do that. I click the tool up here, rotate object around a point by angle. So I click the object, I click the point, and now it's asking me, well, what do you want to do for the angle? So here I have my angle. Right, uh, that's the angle I want to use. So back here, I have a name for that angle. Delete this, click and select the appropriate angle. And now, what what happens is, as I drag my slider, oops, back, select my tool, right, in increments of 90. Let me just zoom out out a little bit. As I change the slider, I turn the triangle around. Right, so I can see that rotation process. You can make any increment you want and you can make the slider have as large of a range as you want. I'm just showing the idea. Probably the last thing I would do is connect some point like A to the origin and its image or rotated image or rotated location to the same um, origin and then show the angle between those two points. So I can then click my angle tool, right? If you click A, the origin A prime, we see that 90 degree angle. Here it is right here. Oops. Let me move that so we can see how it actually says 90 degrees. And here you can see right, what the angles look like. And you can give more increments if you want to get an even better sense. And if you want to show right, the other side of the angle here, well, again, set up my angle tool click the points in reverse order and you get the other piece of the angle. You can even change the color here to kind of highlight what's happening. So I move this over and now I have a basic setup for rotation. So in this way students can observe what it really means for right there to be a 90 degree angle of rotation. Well any point and its corresponding point form a 90 degree angle with the origin. That becomes obvious I think when you play with this, this little construction.